Hello again, guys, and now it's time uh, for the frequency separation technique. The technique is inside uh, the panel here. You have three options, soft, normal, and hard. And you have to figure out what is the best number or what is the best for you. Most of the time, I, I, I choose the mode normal here. This is uh, most of the time. It, it depends a little bit on the on the settings, uh, on the resolution of your files. If you shoot in close up uh, portrait or uh, a full body shot, and when you when you play around uh, with it, just check out here the detail and the texture um, uh, layer. Um, this was the soft version, and, and now you can see the all the small details. And when you compare it here, let's compare it with the um, frequency separation in the in the mode normal. Then you can see the difference is a little bit uh, in the details. You have a little bit, uh, sometimes a little bigger details. So it depends on the image. Um, most of the time I choose normal. But when I have a very close-up shot, so when it's very close, like just the face or just the, an eye, then I sometimes choose here um, the soft version. All right, and now it's time for the practical application. Well, the, the frequency separation technique is, is a very great tool. Sometimes people use it a little bit, let's, go, let's say, overdone. They do a little bit too much. Here are the most important steps. Um, the step number one is... When you choose your tool, let's say I work with a healing brush tool, make sure that you retouch just on the current layer, not on the current and below. Uh, it makes no sense um, because in the frequency separation, we, we split uh, um, the tonality from the um, details. So make sure you work on the current layer. And then you can start doing the, the uh, retouching here by um, working on the details. You, you will see it's not possible to retouch here a dark spot because this is not a detail. When you press the Alt key and click on the icon here, you can see what are the details of the image. And, and right these details, you can retouch them. Like here, the skin texture. And now it depends if you do high-end retouching or, or beauty retouching. Well, I do not zoom in in 1000% or 400%. Uh, I do not retouch like this. Uh, most of the time I, I retouch a little bit like this. And when you can see you have here a spot, then you can see the spot, uh, this, this dark spot is on a tone and value uh, layer. So you can click here and then you can retouch the spot here. But all the details on this layer. So you have to figure out where are uh, the details and where are the, the tonality of the image. And then you can do the retouching so let me do it here a little bit and again this is not a high-end retouching i do not have the time to do here uh, hours of hours for the skin uh, of retouching um, in this case i i do uh, not zoom in so close all right and another practical application is um, when you um, have to adjust values, uh, tonalities, tonali tonalities and color, then this layer is perfect for you. But let's say it's very bright here, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. And when you like to adjust this, this you can do it on, on this layer. But what, what else you can do is you can click on the magic layer. You can choose a brush. Let's say, let's do a little bit more just to show you. And let's say... Um, I don't like to have the highlights, yeah? the highlights uh, here uh, or there. And then you can adjust it by brushing it. Okay, um, So you, you sample a color. Let's say you don't like to have the highlights here. You sample this color and then you can paint here. And now you can see the texture of the image will not change. It's, it's just the tonality. You can see... The texture is still there. Okay, this was a little bit too much, of course. So I recommend to work with a brush about, let's say, 20%. That's okay. 
and then you can sample here and you can paint. You can sample and highlight here, you can paint here, and now you can see before, after, before, after. Very simple, very easy. Um, when you have a shadow here, you don't like it, just pick up here a brighter color and then you can paint here a little bit and a little bit more and then you can see the before after and the point is the texture and the details are on top so nothing will happen to them and this is this is awesome so this is a practical application what you can do and of course you can do everything by painting it let's say the nose here let me show you this so I have a brighter part here, I sample it, paint here, a brighter part, to paint the shadows here away, and now I choose a darker part to paint here. And now let's take a look, before, after, before, after. You can see it's, it's very easy to do, and it depends a little bit in how good you are in this painting thing. Um, but the most important part is right here are the details. You work, when you have to uh, work on the details, on the texture, like here, the hair, then you have to work on this layer. See? It's very easy to do. Very easy to do. And gone. See? Details. This is not just a detail. Then you have to work here on the tonality layer. All right? So this is the point uh, of, the, of the frequency separation, how you can retouch. Um, you have two main layers, the details and here the tones and tonality. All right, here are the details and you can retouch. All right, um, here's another point what is very, very cool, a little bit advanced point. What you can do is, when you, when you check the tone values layer here, by pressing with the Alt key uh, or by clicking here on the eye icon by pressing the Alt key, then you can see here it's bright, it's dark, it's bright. And what you can do is, you can make a selection here with your uh, lasso tool here. Make sure you have a little bit of a soft edge. Let's, let's choose 10 pixels. Then you make a selection. And when you blur this part of the image on this layer. Let's take a look what happened when you use the Gaussian blur. Let's use a little bit more. And then you can see the tonality changes. You can see it's not so harsh. Um, now it's a little bit more smooth. All right? And let's take a look what happened when we do this by turning the other layers on. So you can see it here. And now the blur tool, blur, Gaussian blur, and take a look. Let's choose a little bit more. See, the skin gets perfect. Before, after, before, after. Amazing. 15 pixels, I think it's enough. And this is what you can do. You can go now uh, through the image. You can do the same here on this part. Take a look. I choose the blur tool. Take a look on this layer. See, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright. The texture is here on top, the details. So the texture will not get changed. And now I go to the blur tool, Gaussian blur. Boom. Maybe not so much, maybe just 10 pixels, just a little bit. Before, after, before, after. Much better. And this is the way how I retouch with the frequency separation technique. I will do it now for a couple of minutes. And in the next video, we go then to the next retouching step.